Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another EDC video for you. And today I thought I'd do a quick video showing you this, this multifunctional 6-in-1 pen my wife got me for Christmas. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, she got this off Amazon. If you type in, you know, multifunctional pen or 6-in-1 pen, you'll get all kinds of listings and... You can find these from different companies, varying prices. Um, they got different colors even. I did see one one listing they had a pack of three. And you got a black one, a yellow one like this, and a white one. And I can't remember how much it was. It was maybe 11 bucks for three of them. So that was, that's not too bad. But <clears throat> yeah, so kind of go through this real quick and show you the functions and what I think of it. I already told you. I think it's kind of neat. But yeah, well, let's do a couple of size comparisons. So, here's a Pilot G2 gel pen. One of my favorite pens to use. So, it's it's longer than a, than a G2. Here's a Sharpie marker. And yeah, it's a little longer in the Sharpie. Part of it's because of the end here. But yeah, so it's a twist pen. Goes in and out real, real smooth. It's got good knurling down here to, you know, grip iron too. That, that's metal. The body's aluminum. Pocket clip's metal. The stylus little cap here is metal but yeah it, it writes pretty good i like the way it writes it writes nice and smooth black ink i don't know how what size tip it's got it's not real fine it's it's um comparable to the pilot g2 which is point zero seven so oh seven so that's about what this is and being a twist pen i don't know i've had twist pens pens like this where you go to write and the ballpoint just retracts you know pushes right back in this stays out pretty good i haven't had no issues with it um like i said got good knurling here so this is shaped like a pencil. I don't have a pencil, I don't think. It's it's quite a bit thicker than the pencil. But we'll take some measurements of this in a minute. And I'll show you the the refill in it. But yeah, I got scales on the side, get inches, centimeters, millimeters, different one three hundredth of a meter. One two hundredth a meter, one one hundredth a meter. It's kind of odd. These all go one way, then this one's the opposite. I don't know why. This kind of triggers my OCD, I guess. But it has a little bubble level, horizontal. Um, you obviously can't do vertical you know check for plum or anything but for level you can that might come in handy pocket clip it's got good retention you know goes in and out of my shirt pocket pretty good now, i've carried this in my shirt pocket i carried it in my little pen holster that i use at work my zebra pens and permanent marker this sticks up it's a little bit longer so it sticks up higher but it's not bad in the shirt pocket. Got a stylus on this end. It works. Um, who knows how long they'll last. These things tend to, you know, after a while get brittle and tear. But you unscrew the cap, the stylus, and you got a little screwdriver. One end's Phillip, Phillips tip. The other one is a little flat head. 
Seems like a decent bit. Now it's got an O-ring on it. That's what That's what keeps it in. See the inside. Got hex shape. But doesn't doesn't want to fall out or anything, so that's good. Like I said, this is metal. Yeah, I knew it was going to be hard to focus on this, but yeah, it's metal. Um, like I said, who knows how long the stylus tip lasts. I don't really use it, but um, it's nice once in a while. So, feels feels pretty good, like I said. Feels good in hand. I don't I like writing with it. See how much it weighs. Kinda do it like a knife review. 0 0.92 ounces, so less than an ounce. That that's not bad. Um overall length on this is about uh, six and an eighth overall, right from tip to tip. The pen out, it's about, it's about an inch and a quarter, six and a quarter inches. So it's not bad, but yeah, it's got good weight to it. It feels good. Now... We'll show you refills. So what you gotta do is you kind of turn this a little bit, then you pull it out. Now I'm not no expert on pens, so you have a. I keep trying to pull that off, and you have to unscrew it. But you have a nice little Phillips right here. That you can use on this to unscrew the refill and there's the refill now and I I tried looking up and it said use a D refill D size refill like I said I don't I don't know nothing about pens don't know about refills I can figure out <coughs> Um, you know, Fisher Space Pen refill and the Zebra refills. You know, all I got to do is type in Zebra 701 refill and I can get it. So, if you want to get a refill, it's a D size refill. It just unscrews out of there. You really don't need a screwdriver. It's got a little knurling on there. You can grip it. But... Yeah, that's all it does. That's how it works. Let's put this back in. Now it just slid right back in, but it seems like if you turn it clockwise, it kind of locks in a little bit. I don't know if it really does, but I don't want to keep pulling that in and out. It'll probably loosen up and I have to put some glue or something in there to hold it. But yeah, these are pretty neat. Um, you're looking for an EDC pen, you know, a little multifunction. That's why um, this is going to live in my, my new Max Edition Beefy Pouch. More than one purpose. It serves more than one use. Pen, it's got a little screwdriver, it's got a level, it's got a scale. So, that's... This is going to live in my pouch that I I also got for Christmas. And I'll do a video on all the, all the stuff I stuffed in it. But yeah, I thought I'd just do a quick video on this because I think it's kind of neat. And um, so you guys, if you want to get one, like I said, just search on Amazon. 
type in multifunction pen, pen screwdriver, um, six in one. And these, these will come up. A lot of different ones will come up too. So, but so far, I'd recommend this, you know, kind of neat, different pen, couple extra functions to it. Not a bad price. Like I said, the prices vary, so shop around. They all look the same to me, the different brands and stuff. But yeah, I guess that's it. Um, if you like this video, you know, as usual, you know, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. And if you know more about what refill this takes, you know, leave it, leave it down in the comments. So somebody, um, needs a refill or wants to get refills for one of these, they can do it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until the next video, bye.